in solving, we might come across these special cases. Um, we're going to focus on two special cases. One is where we can determine that there are infinitely many solutions. This would mean that x can be anything, or a variable can be absolutely anything. Another phrasing you might see for this is x is all real numbers. So that if we chose a real number, it would work for the equation. Um, another special case is no solutions. The idea that absolutely nothing would work for the equation to balance it. So let's see how these come about. So I'm going to solve this equation here. I'm going to simplify that right-hand side. So x plus x is 2x. 8 minus 6 is positive 2. And what you might already be noticing is that we have the same thing on both sides of the equation. I'm going to go one step further, which would be our step to move everything with our variable to one side of the equation. So what I would do here is, say I wanted to get rid of this positive 2x, then what I would need to do is subtract 2x from both sides. When we do this, and this is where we can see that it's going to be a special case, is that our variable terms completely cancel out. This would make a 0, and this would also make a 0. So all I would end up with is 2 equals 2. So I've lost my variable. So then what I need to do is analyze what kind of statement do I have here. 2 equals 2, well that is a true statement. And what that leads to is the conclusion that there are infinitely many solutions. x can be absolutely anything, and that equation will work. So if your variables cancel out, but you're left with a true statement, you have infinitely many solutions. Let's look at this next case where when we simplify, we end up with a similar scenario but slightly different. If I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides, I end up with the statement 2 equals 3, and that is a false statement. So my variable terms disappeared, they all canceled out with each other, and I'm left with something that is false. That means there are no solutions. Absolutely no real number would work to balance that equation. Same thing happens with inequalities. So let's look at simplifying this. I would distribute the negative 2 in. So this would be negative 2x plus 8, less than or equal to 3x minus 5x is a negative 2x minus 1. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. And with that, my variables cancel out, so I don't have any variables left. And all I have is the comparison of two numbers. Now with this, I need to be extra careful of making sure I get the correct direction of things in terms of whether this is true or false. So this is saying 8 is smaller than or even less than or equal to negative 1. And that is false. 8 is larger than negative 1. So this is giving me a false statement, which means there are no solutions. So those are the special cases that we can see when solving equations and inequalities.